Blues licks using the major nine interval key of A. and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another lead guitar tutorial. In today's session, we're gonna be spicing up some run-of-the-mill pentatonic licks by adding in the very flavorful major nine interval, specifically the technique of backsliding into that interval, which is a technique used by many high-level vocalists. Now, this is something that you can use to spice up major and minor licks, and it's a great way to add a little bit of variety to your solos. Let's take a look. Okay, close to the fretboard of this beautiful Faith FG9 acoustic guitar, we're adding in the ninth scale interval to a few common pentatonic licks. And that just means that we're looking at the major scale, going into the second octave and counting up to the ninth interval. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a B note. It's the octave of the second note of the scale. And that is the note that we're gonna be adding in to our pentatonic licks. Okay, getting started with your first lick. This one is mainly built from the A minor blues scale. Okay, you should definitely know how to play that scale. We're just gonna be adding in that backslide into the ninth scale interval. It's gonna sound like this. Now real slow. It sounds great coming in on the second beat and then landing you back into the next measure on beat number one. So one, two, and a three, and a four, and a one. Okay, let's break that down. Okay, so that began with the fifth fret of the high E string. Then we're going to be doing a pull off from the B string. Eight down to five. Okay, you should be hitting that next string with an upstroke. If you want to add a little bit of a scrape, you can hit some dead strings on that first note. Okay, then on the G string, we're going to play a slide back and forth. We're going seven up to eight and then back down to seven. That's that blues scale. Okay, then we're going down a whole step, back up a whole step, All right, and then we're going to the B string, fifth fret. And then here's where we're gonna be putting in that major nine interval. Slide in from the minor third down to the nine. So this is fifth fret going down to four. And then resolve in to the root note A, seventh fret of the D string. You put all that together and we have. Just like that. Okay, excellent work everybody. Now we're jumping into lick number two. Let's see if we can apply that same exact backslide technique into a lick that's built from the major pentatonic scale in the key of A. So that scale looks and sounds like this. Okay, it's just a major scale with the fourth and seventh scale degrees omitted. Okay, this lick is gonna sound like this. Just a nice short little phrase coming in on the third beat. So one, two, and three, and a four, and. Okay, super simple, we're doing a double stop. I'm barring the fifth fret of the B and high E string, and I'm gonna hammer up a whole step on the B string. So on the B string, I'm going from five up to seven, but striking two strings with the pick. And then I'm going back to five and five. All right, then I'm going to the seventh fret of the G string, and then I'm gonna do my backslide technique down to the fourth fret of the G string and then resolve on A, seventh fret of the D string. Okay, real slow now. Okay, and if you're counting it, one, two, and three, and a four, and. Okay, excellent work everybody. Thus far you have two attention grabbing, very smooth blues licks added into your repertoire. Now we're jumping into your third and final lick which is also built from that major pentatonic scale. It's gonna sound like this. A one and two and a three and a four and. Okay, one more time. 
Okay, so that's coming in right after the first beat. Okay, so we're starting off with an upstroke on the seventh fret of the A string. Okay, and because we're coming in right after the first beat on the end, that's an upbeat, which explains that upstroke there. Then on the D string, we're gonna play four, seven, four. So one and two and a. Next, slide up into the major third of that A major chord. So I just slid from five up to six on the G string. Next, on the B string, we're gonna play five, seven. And then we're gonna throw in that major nine trick, slide in from five down to four. Okay, mimicking the human voice before resolving on the seventh fret of the D string, the A note. You put all that together and we have one and two and a three and a four and. Okay, real slow. Just like that. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this lead guitar tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. If you have a song or a technique that you'd like for me to teach next, you can head over to swiftguitar.com slash request and put in that request now. Big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash Hope you're enjoying all those extra resources. Thanks to you guys, I got many more lessons coming up. So keep checking in, please subscribe, please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.